What's going on, International High School family? Um, I just wanted to say, have a great summer. I appreciate you all, and I wanted to do it in my own individual and unique way of uh, just letting you guys know how grateful I am for this time of my life, helping me feel welcome here and helping me feel good about my next transition. Um, we have our own International Spike Lee, so I had to take advantage of the moment. And um, anyway, I hope you guys all have a great summer and come back refreshed for the next school year. And <clears throat> I wanted to take the time to just say thank you to a few people in particular, um, which everybody, of course, I'm saying thank you to all, and I wish you all nothing but the best. Um, I wanted to first and foremost say thank you so much to Hillary. Um, Hillary Koppel is the one that reached out to me uh, about nine years ago, saying that there was an opening for a social work position, a bilingual social work position, to come over to the International High School. And I'd never heard of the International Network, period, in New York. And that was news for me. And ironically, I had taken students out on a field trip and I was in Union Square Park when she gave me the call. She said, hey, do you know anybody? And gave me a little snippet. And I told her I'll research the school and I'll let her know if I had um, any ideas for people in mind to take the spot. And funny enough, we, I was working in uh, the South Bronx on 149th off of St. Anne's. And during that time, a lot of my students were getting into issues, just going up the block, going out to the movies. And I took a group of 20 students to the movie theater here by Union Square. And I said, let's get 20 tickets, the power of a Metro card, New York City Transit in 20 minutes, 25 minutes out of the way. They can go to the movies, have some popcorn, soda, watch a movie, and they don't have to worry about beef with projects, beef with different sets. And as I'm talking to the students about that, um, I got the phone call from Hillary and I was like, all right, just interested because uh, working in the inner cities and uh, working um, through Oakland, Miami and all these different places, Brooklyn, the Bronx, I was like, you know what, let me try something different. Let me do the research. And I looked into the international network and I thought that I could expand myself professionally and personally just, I was like, wow, what an amazing experience working with kids that just arrived to America and being that I have two immigrant parents that both came here when they were pretty young and they started their families at the start from the bottom, I thought it would be a unique and different experience. So I came to the school, came during portfolio week. I think that was planned by Hillary. That's the genius of Hillary, right? She, uh, she, planned, she planned for me to come on in and get the tour of the school. And I saw that, you know, the kids suited up. They were all dressed very well, taking a lot of pride in the portfolio, the presentation. I thought it was awesome. I also thought I caught a little bit of an okie doke because I wasn't the regular Monday through Friday grind, you know. But uh, the two interviews were very good. I appreciated the time that the team took to ask me thorough questions. It was a very focused interview. Both interviews were very focused. And uh, right after that, I, I went ahead and spent like $7,000 just on sports coats and suits because I was like, oh, I need to come to this place suit and tie. I was ready to go. That's, that's the, the vibe and the feel that I got. Next thing you know, I was like, forget that. I'm not going to get anything, you know, milk thrown on it because I wound up being in the cafeteria for so many years. I was like, oh, the, the outfits are done. But I came prepared and I knew that people really cared about this school. They really wanted to find staff that can come and connect with students. And I thought that that was really cool. And I remember the first year I was a little bit intimidated because the language was very thick, uh, very academic, like, I'm coming from the Bronx. I don't know. Maybe it's just me that I'm like, hey, yo, what's up? What's going on? And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, let me get back into the Webster's Dictionary, tighten up a bit, get back to some academic language. And uh, the emails were overbearing. Team meetings and meetings and meetings and then more meetings. I was like, this is nuts. But I really love the passion that I saw in the staff. People staying here till five, six o'clock, just helping students. I thought that was awesome. I was... Uh, it felt invigorating, to be honest, to be part of such a team with passionate people, uh, very welcoming to the st uh, very welcoming to the students and to their families. I thought it was great. And um, Hillary's no joke. You know, she used to be my supervisor in the Bronx. I actually used to be her intern. She was my supervisor, and um, we worked very well back then. And I was able to take her spot as she came to international. And then when she said, you know, she asked if somebody would come, I was like, hey, why not me? So anyway, long story short, I'm here. I'm just saying thank you to everybody. And I just wanted to say uh, somebody such as Mark Haywood, man, I, I really appreciate you, man. Uh, I don't think a lot of people know the work that you do behind the scenes. 
how much you do with um, the sports, the athletics for other, other students outside of our school, how many kids have gone to college based on your connections and scholarships. And I think it's awesome the way you grind. We've done, I don't know how many mediations, I don't know how many Picassos we've painted together. And uh, man, two decades in the building, you've seen a lot of progress. You've seen a lot of the process, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, you know, my man, salute, nothing but respect, man. We made sure a lot of kids made it here and home safe and stayed safe in between. And uh, our vet, you already know, we hit the field. We're feet to the ground, we're already there. We're always in the middle of action. Paula, I salute you before whoever this drill sergeant is. You hear me? Paula's the drill sergeant, you know? Paula, yeah, you're awesome. I'm gonna miss you very much. Operations team, Patricia, you already know. Everybody in operations is awesome. I uh, love working with you guys. 944 is a special place. Um, also going down to the guidance team, Ingrid, you're awesome. Que Dios te bendiga. You know what I mean? And uh, you're phenomenal. It's always been good. You've always been great with me. And I wish you nothing but the best. Lisa, um, moving forward, I wish you nothing but the best. You know, we're both saying peace in our own way. But, you know, take care of yourself. And I wish you nothing but the best with your family. Wishing you nothing but the best is a theme, if you guys don't notice. But everybody that's come through the guidance has been awesome, too. We got Nicole. We got Crystal. Now we got Natalie. There's always... People in there connecting with kids, making sure that they get what they need to pursue college if it's in their cards, which it should be in everybody's cards, or we would like to. But I think it's awesome. Um, administration, we've had changes after changes after changes, but um, I think it's great. And I think Vade Wadi has been great here, been stable here, and it's a lot. The, her first year coming into this place, there was an explosion inside the school building. We had to go across to the park, so. It's a, it's a introduction, right? It's a, it's a very hard introduction. So um, with that, I wanted to say I, I appreciate very much Thomas and Sean. I've always been able to go there and feel very good, very trusted. If I ever needed to speak to something, I always felt like they had my back. I felt like I was speaking with level-headed people all the time. I really appreciate you guys just as, a, as an educator or as a teacher, as a whatever. Speaking to you guys and you guys always being there. I really appreciated that. I always knew I can go to Thomas. I always knew I can go to Sean, God forbid. But thankfully, nothing like that really had to take place here. So um, anyway, I'm trying to think here. I hope to see you guys soon, uh, maybe less than a year, and to say goodbye, and I'll see where I go. But I just want to say thank you guys so much. The kids here are wonderful. Uh, the staff is also wonderful. And uh, take care to the next one, all right? Peace.